Here comes the bull. 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 Good evening, this is Guido72, and today I'm going to be going over a couple videos from our previous war with Persia Habitan. I believe that's how you pronounce their name. Anywho, um, it's not going to be a full war recap. Just pretty much want to highlight a couple attacks that stood out to me. Uh, one was against the Town Hall 10. Another was a classic Zap Quake, Drag Laloon, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, so... You know, I mean, there's there's a lots of good attacks that are out there right now, but uh, you know, like, and and and, I mean, we kick butt all the time in wars, and we, you know, we want to highlight everybody, but we can't, you know, because it takes a long time. People really don't understand how long these videos actually take, and I appreciate you all who actually do watch them and sit through them. Um, so, anywho, without further ado, we're gonna get into these two attacks, so you can uh, see how we kick butt at Three Point Park. Okay, this first attack um, is going to be the Drag Golaloon, I guess you would call it again. Um, it's by Grimmer. And uh, yeah, he starts off with a double zap quake um, on two of the air defenses. He chooses to uh, take out the two uh, Western, or yeah, that would be Western uh, air defenses with uh, a quake and two lightnings. Uh, per air defense. He's creating a nice funnel for his dragons. He, uh, he brought six dragons so he drops uh, two wide and then one in the center and that's going to help them move their way in and so once they're funnel started funnel uh, funneling he drops the rest of the dragons. He deploys his king up north uh, to create a little uh, spot for his queen to come in and take out that northern AD and then, he's, and then he brought a uh, a hound and a hound in the CC to take care of the other air defense and to tank for the rest of his dragons and loons. He brings 10 loons for this. Now, it was a little risky going into um, both of the air sweepers, as you're going to see. Actually, he brought hogs, my bad. He brought hogs to take out that northern AD. Um, that pulled the CC, and you know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that the, it's going to take out his hogs and king. Uh, because the rest of his attack is air, so those balloons won't mean anything. He deployed two hounds towards that last AD, and they're even with that sweeper, they're going to last long enough uh, till those balloons get in and uh, take that out. Meanwhile, his dragons have cleaned up the entire eastern side. Uh, the only air uh, targeting defense on the south side is that wizard tower, which is about to go down right now. Some well placed air bombs you know creating a little bit of havoc here um, but uh, he still has a hound left that needs to be popped and if it can if it can get popped it's great it's gonna help out the rest of his cleanup um, it's gonna take down that uh, expo right now with his last couple loons the the hound did pop and it's gonna go ahead and work on the rest of those storages he still has a wizard tower creating havoc um, he has his queen still up uh, she's got a long way to go to get to that wizard tower, but that wizard tower is now distracted by those pups allowing that dragon to come in, and uh, he was going to drop off his last little splash damage, but was it no need? Those pups cleaned up. Queen came in for the last bit. She didn't make it. S still, great attack, Grimmer. Kicking ass. Three-point park. This this second attack is going to be by Stevo. Stevo is going to be doing a somewhat mass Valk attack. Um, starts off with a queen walk on the south side against a very popular square open square base. Um, again, I laugh every time I see these. Um, not as a Town Hall 10, I actually have an advantage of being a 10.5, so I got my warden. But still, as a Town Hall 10, these are very very. Uh, common and easy bases to take out um, if you just follow the simple steps of funneling. Uh, so Stevo does a great job of luring the CC and uh, again like he said he has his queen she's going to take out this side of the base uh, to make sure that the Valks don't come on this side of the base when he deploys them that's going to send them straight into the core uh, without anything you know to lead them south. Um, just got to get to that storage uh, 
there he goes deploys his Valks and once that storage goes down that's enough to keep the Valks centered um, as you see a few of them take the northern outside portion but enough of them go inside he drops a heel um, because the uh, infernals are set to single so they can only target one target at a time allows the rest of the uh, Valkyries to heal um, his queen meanwhile is taking care of the entire east south side of the base he has a few Valks up top taking taking out the northern section of the base while his king tanks in the middle uh, his queen with that healer is plenty enough uh, now to clearing up the rest of this base even if he lost his king but his king is damn near full health has a wizard a couple more Valks still left he's already dropped his cleanup troops around the bottom of the base and the top of the base brought a, he brought a couple goblins and a minion and a couple wizards to help clean up but all in all great attack nice textbook strategy good job Steve-O